We are Makilala TV, the first Filipino American TV talk show in the New York metro area. Get to know us as we talk to the community leaders, innovators, advocates, and emerging artists who affect Filipino American life. My name is Rochelle Ocampo, and on behalf of my co-hosts Jen Fuhrer and Christina Pastor, welcome to Makilala TV. Today we are joined by my co-host Mari Veer Montibon, editor of Awesome Online Magazine, since Jen is traveling. This episode's topic is on menopause. So now just imagine we possess the unique and great power to create life. And suddenly, that power is lost due to age. According to study by the National Women's Health, Health Resource Center, AAPI women tend to experience menopause earlier than white people. Knowing what to expect can help you cope. So we have two special guests who can share their experiences of menopause. We welcome to Makilala TV, attorney Angelita Cordova Hayes, a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, and Dr. Luz Makilimbon, Hamed, an early childhood education director and vice president of operations of the New York chapter of United Federation of Philam Educators, also known as Unified. By shedding light on the importance of menopause education for Filipinas, this interview aims to empower Filipinas to take control of their health and well-being during this natural transition in our lives. So the first thing I want to ask you both is how did you know that you were going through menopause, uh, Angie? Yeah, it started uh, when at the age of 52. Uh, I started to have heavy periods with clots, and then I have crying spells mm -hmm. and um, mood swings. And that was like, oh, uh, this is it. I, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, losing, I'm losing my great power, oh. the power to procreate. <laughs> procreate. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And, and for me, it started earlier at the age of 45. Mm -hmm. And I've been thinking, oh, my monthly visitor is not here. And then it's like getting lesser and lesser. And then one day, just like Tita Angie said, you know, I have these hot flashes, mood swings, experiences, and being very sensitive mm -hmm. to many things. So I said, oh, my God, I think I have menopause. <laughs> oh. It's so interesting. You were going through, you said blood clots and, yeah. and lots yeah, of blood. Yeah, very and heavy. Heavy period. And yeah. then you started... To not have period. Yes, yeah. little by It little. really sounds very different for each person. How about you, I, Christina? You know, my, my experience is that I did not experience <laughs> any of the things that you were talking about. I did not have hot flashes. I did not have mood swings. And I definitely was not crying. <laughs> it just, I just noticed that it's becoming less and less until it totally stopped. What was, is what that, was less? Your period? Uh, yeah, the period. Oh. So is that um, normal? Rare? Uh, no, it's not rare. Mm -hmm. Like uh, twenty-five percent of Philippine, uh, like uh, women in general, mm -hmm. will not experience these symptoms of oh, menopause, okay. uh -huh. but seventy-five percent will. Will. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. So, is it true that um, Asian women tend to experience menopause earlier than uh, white women? As mentioned, there was a study conducted, so that, that that's how uh, that's how the study came out. So. We Filipinas will menop will do menopause earlier Early. than the general population. So, wh what is the explanation there? Um, what is the biological explanation? There? I I really I cannot answer that question. Mm -hmm. Maybe that would be another episode. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I have a, read a study about uh, people who drink a lot of dairy, like milk, milk and uh. eating cheese, tends to uh, not to have early uh, uh, menopause. Since uh, I, for one, I don't drink milk when I was young, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I feel like, oh, maybe that's the reason why I have early menopause. Early menopause. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm, I heard that it's diet, nutrition has a lot to do with uh, keeping menopause at bay, or at least the symptoms not as strong. I wonder how, how that plays a role, the diet, nutrition? Because uh, the, there are uh, foods, that we, we call that phytoestrogens. Mm -hmm. They mimic the, the effect of estrogens in our body. Mm -hmm. okay. So 
uh, if you're taking those foods like edamame, like flax oh. seeds, mm. uh, garlic, broccoli, uh -huh. cabbage, and a lot more, mm -hmm. uh, it will not, you'll not suffer the symptoms of menopause if you're eating them. Wow, so, huh? yeah, and then if, uh, as young as, when you're still in your 20s, <laughs> You have to prepare for <laughs> menopause now, <laughs> yes. you know, so you and then the uh, eat those <laughs> kinds of food, phytoestrogens, that's what we call it. So yeah. uh, eat those and then it can help with the symptoms of the menopause. Symptoms. Yeah. How do you explain um, hot flushes? Like personally, I do have hot flushes even during the winter, I sweat. Actually, uh, scientifically, uh -huh. uh, we have like a thermometer in our brain called hypothalamus. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then when you're, because your uh, estrogen drops, mm -hmm. there's a signal to your hypothalamus. Your estrogen drops and then you feel cold or warm. The hypothalamus is like become unstable. So mm -hmm. it will create hot flushes or cold flushes. The hypothalamus <laughs> become like oh, agitated. So, oh, what is going on in the body? <laughs> So that's what uh, this is regulated by the hypothalamus, a part of our brain. So it tries oh, okay. to regulate our our internal yeah internal temperature. Because of the temperature. So can you people always say hot flashes, but what does it really mean? Because how do, what is can you I, describe? I feel like my cheek has has fire on it. <laughs> yeah, it feels that and I sweat. Yeah, yeah, you and get like, sweaty. Like, yeah, yeah, I get sweaty yeah. even if I'm in bed and I'm I have a blanket. I take out the blanket because it's really, really super. Super hot, yes, yeah, like yeah. you are like burning. And actually, when uh, it it will it happened to me, I go jump to the shower. I have wow. to do cold shower in order to be relieved. How, of the hot flashes. how long so, does that last? That symptom, like five seconds, like ten minutes, a few a minutes, a few oh, minutes, okay. few yeah. minutes. So oh, that's why it flashes. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Okay. I I've never really experienced that in, at any time in my life. You are so lucky. I know, yes. you're the 25%. So it makes me wonder whether I'm yeah, normal. You eat a lot of broccoli? <laughs> yeah, you eat a lot of broccoli. Maybe. No. <laughs> so how do you women explain menopause to your husbands or to your sons? For, for me, I'm not very open. Mm -hmm. And at first, I cannot admit I'm already <laughs> that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Denial. Yeah. In, yeah. I'm still in denial. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I have to communicate that, but I don't know how. I'm like keeping it to myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, you never told your family at, initially? I, yeah, at first. Uh -huh. But they realized, oh, maybe she's in menopause because of my <laughs> <Yeah>. behavior. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you're saying like why mood swings. Why is yes. it getting a negative um, a taboo, um, negative um, impression of people? Um, because it's part of aging. I feel yeah. like it's similar to when, oh, um, when someone has like mood swings, it's like, oh, she's definitely on her period. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's right. They That's like right. blame it <laughs> yeah. on period or now, now blaming menopause. it on menopause. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it, I mean, honestly, it's a hormones. Like we can't control it. It's, it's just something that is natural. But it's, it's, it's defining us as women, you know, when you are <laughs> when you're having moving. one of your um, episodes, episodes, <laughs> it may not even be related to menopause. And then yeah. they will say, oh, maybe because she's having menopause. You know? yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's true. I blame the comedians for that. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you explain menopause to your husband or to your sons? The, the same thing. I have the same feeling with uh, Dr. Luz. I, I keep it to myself. I personally, mm -hmm. uh, during this stage of my life, it's hard for me to accept that oh. I lose this great power to procreate. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Oh. It's like I have to grieve. I'm still grieving, I, I guess, until now. I oh. never, I never have the courage to tell even my closest friend or that even my menopause. partner that I'm in menopause. Really? So what? I, now? Yes. I'm, maybe <laughs> now they now, know. Now, <laughs> now that you're on TV. TV. Now, now yes. you just announce it to the yes. world. <laughs> yes. And then even coming here, I was hesitant to do this oh. in all honesty. Really? And then I was just uh, blessed that I have a friend, uh, a, a pharmacist who told me about this phytoestrogen uh, uh -huh. like vitamins to uh -huh. take. And I, I, I took it and it, it resolves all the symptoms. Wow. It resolves I'm, all mm -hmm. the symptoms. It's good that it worked for you. It worked and then it also resolves the dryness. Wait, what's mm -hmm. dryness? Dryness down there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and it helps. Yeah. And uh -huh. it, it will uh, give back to you your libido that you oh. lose during Oh, I was supposed to ask that. Yes. Like, yeah. The, yeah. Do you lose your sex drive with yes, your Yes, you menopausal? lose your sex drive yes. to your libido and then... Oh. 
taking this uh, vitamins really helps. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, really helps. It's, it's like female Viagra. <laughs> yes. Is that what you're yes. saying? That's yes. my takeaway. Yes. Yes. Takeaway. Okay, let's yeah. take notes. <laughs> No mention of brand. No, no, no <laughs> brand. No brand. Just look it up. Look it up. So, um, when, when you said that you are sort of keeping it to yourself and all because of the negative connotation of uh, of uh, menopause, is it because you don't want people to think that you cannot have kids anymore, or that you don't want people to think that you are getting old? What is the really what is really the reason there? I think it's both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard to like, it's hard to accept that like you are you, like, you have your, the, the, the power to procreate has an expiry date. Sorry yeah. about that. It's hard to accept. <laughs> biological hard, yeah. clock. Yeah. yeah, you have your biological clock as mm -hmm. a woman. It's difficult. Unlike men, they don't have, they can have kids mm -hmm. any, at you any know, time. At yeah. any time of yeah. what, how old they are. But we women, yeah. well, we have the clock that is ticking and yes. we have to pay attention so that uh, I think it really, it's really important to educate our young children to, mm -hmm. to prepare yeah. for it. Yes. How, how, at what age should a girl be talking about this? At what age do you tell a girl to have, to have that talk with a girl uh, about menopause? I have read about, uh, there was a medical doctor who advised that at the age of 20, we have to oh, start advising. 20? Yeah, 20. Isn't it too late? Oh, um, I, I would think about twelve or thirteen, <laughs> like when, no, they when they're getting their menstruation. I think, uh, yeah, yeah, but <laughs> too yeah, soon, right? Yeah, I think that's too soon too. Mm -hmm. Maybe twenty because they, they, uh, they already passed the age of majority, ah, which okay. is eighteen, mm -hmm. and they can make good decisions already. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think twenty, we 20 have I, to start I educating I, them about menopause. I think it's I think it's important to at least not the whole education of everything like technical about menopause, but just letting them know that it exists and that, that this is part of a natural process yeah. that all women go through, menstruation and menopause. menopause. I think it can be tw like intertwined in the conversation. Yeah. It doesn't have to be technical at 12, yeah, but yeah. a point that it should be talked <laughs> at about. At some point, yes. yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Rochelle, did your mom have a talk with you about oh, these no. things? Oh, no. I have not. I haven't even asked her. Me too. I should have asked I my didn't mom. have the conversation with yeah. my mom. Yeah. yeah. You don't talk about those things. That is yeah. something yeah. I will yeah. do tonight. I'll ask <laughs> yeah. her. Yeah, yeah, hot flashes. I think it's mostly, I think I remember her telling me that she, because I joke around, I was like, oh, mommy, if you want kids, why don't, if you want me to have kids, why don't you just have more kids? Like, I can't. I don't have my period anymore. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm assuming she, she's gone through it. Um, but one thing that I wanted to ask is, is a little bit more technical because I've heard that this is an option for people going through menopause is hormone replacement therapy. Yeah, what is that? HRT, uh -huh. what, is, what is that option? Do you, yeah, the hormone replacement therapy is a treatment that replaces our estrogen and progesterone, the, the mm -hmm. hormones that we lost. Mm -hmm. As women, we tend to decrease that or lose it mm -hmm. when we get older. So there are two kinds. You can have the uh, combined HRT or, or only the, um, what do you call this? I forgot the name, but if you have still your womb with you, you can mm -hmm. have the combined uh, uh, thing. Or if you don't have it to hysterectomy, you can have it also. Mm -hmm. And there are some um, things that you have to consider when you get that. You can take it by uh, tablets. You can also have skin patch. You no. can have uh, a gel, a spray. And also you have to consider if you are a candidate, because if you have uh, illness, like you have a heart disease, you have a, a blood, high blood pressure, things like that, mm -hmm. to consider. They are not given to all. So you have to go to a doctor and ask if you are qualified to get the therapy. So you, you don't go under the knife for it? No, you don't get operated. It's, it's for just them. you're just given like a medication. medication. A medication, or, yeah. Yes. But generally, it's not really. Uh, after several studies, it, it's not really advised to do oh, HRT why? Why? because it can cause cancer, mm. yeah, to women, or it can cause heart disease. So, uh, the better option, generally, the better option is to use the phytoestrogens. So yeah, like just diet. The yeah, yeah, the diet. Weight. Yes. Okay. So yeah. I think I think it's safer to say is just. Talk to your doctor talk to your about doctor your options. About yes. you have yes. you have this option, but uh, according to study, it is not uh, advisable. But still, but you still have that option if you yeah. want to go, to go the medication uh, HRT to estrogen medication. 
I think uh, uh, one thing I wanted to bring up after uh, because of this episode is really education yeah, and, and communication, talking yes. to mm -hmm. whether it be your partner or your doctor or someone that you confide in that you're going through these symptoms so that you can seek help and yes. find out what your options are. Because I didn't know about those estrogen fighting mm -hmm. uh, medication or, or HRT. So if but, I was going through all those mood swings, I, mm -hmm. I would want to oh, talk yeah. to someone. But after going through HRT, uh, you still cannot have kids, right? No. Although it replaces your estrogen level, mm -hmm. right? No more. You still can't. Not to the point where. Not no. to the point. Not yeah, to okay. the point that you will ha produce eggs. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. You have to produce eggs, right? That's right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you can. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. So um, I'd like to ask the both of you, right now, um, is menopause the stage where you're still productive, professionally, and all that? It doesn't bother you. I mean, all this yeah. working is still fine and all that. Yes, yes. Yeah. We are. We, we work. We work hard. <laughs> <laughs> does it affect? We, we, does it affect memory? Not really. No. Mm -hmm. Not really. Mm -hmm. I, I think it has something to do with the diet because oh, like, they said some suffers brain fog. Yeah, when yeah. with the menopause, oh, right. but mm -hmm. I think you have to be conscious about what you're eating. Mm -hmm. You have to eat healthy, mm -hmm. and then uh, it's also. When you are on menopause, like you have, you will gain weight because mm -hmm. the estrogen oh, is no really? longer yeah. there. Yeah, yeah oh. you are right. prone to gaining weight, so you have to be careful about what you're eating. Eat more veggies, less carbs, and less meat, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yes. So when you went into menopause, did it ch did you change your diet? Yes, I tried. Mm -hmm. Yes, I tried. Uh, Luz, did you change your diet? Yes, I have to a little bit because I'm a coffee drinker, oh. mm -hmm. and then they say that. When you have menopause or postmenopause, you need to stop drinking caffeine. Oh, no. oh, really? and Yes, oh, no. and try to oh, not why? to get on star, uh, <laughs> but sugary food. I still drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> I still drink a lot of coffee. Why? It's not good for it's us? It's not good for us. Oh, no. Yeah, because our bones, when oh, we don't yeah. have the, our hormones, mm -hmm. we can have osteoporosis. Okay. So we have to be careful uh -oh. of what we eat. <laughs> yeah, we need to eat more salmon, mackerel, isopla ah, bones, oh. Oh, yeah, like I do that. soy yeah, milk, yeah. things. Uh -huh. Tofu is good for yeah, us. Yeah, tofu. Yeah, it's yeah. high to estrogen. I don't eat tofu before, but now I have to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so wow. I read somewhere also that when you have menopause, some women change their voice or grow facial hair. Has that? Is that? Um, have you seen something like that? No, uh, scientifically again, uh -huh. <laughs> this is uh, the explanation of that. Like uh, when you're in menopause, you're no longer producing estrogen. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, you're still producing testosterone. Mm -hmm. And testosterone will is have you produce the male uh -huh. hormone, produce uh -huh. your hair and change your voice. It will change your voice. So that's the explanation of that. Yeah. Oh. So there is but, a possibility. But that's rare. Like that's you rare. change your, you, yeah. become, you have a male voice. Oh, I mean, that's just not, really. not really a male, but there's just but like it, it some changes. Deeper, I yeah, think. yeah. Oh, slightly there's some going changes. down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It becomes hoarse. Yeah, and oh, uh, because yes. and your throat becomes dry. The pitch that's different. Oh. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I so you're sometimes <laughs> shaky, trembling voice. <laughs> you know, when you're getting older. <laughs> oh, okay. So your husbands or your partners or your sons, they don't tease you about. Uh, you having menopause? Oh, mom, because you're <laughs> you're having menopause, <laughs> something like that. You don't get teased at home. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Not really. Not really. Okay. Yeah. My son is also talk, a nurse. Talk about ah, those things naturally. Yeah. I'm on. I mean, friends among yes. friends, right? Among and, friends. Yeah, I think yeah. we have to develop that. Yeah. Because I never had that conversation That's with right. anyone. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, and we have to in order to educate and. Uh, to disseminate this information mm -hmm. there are to other club. women. Yes. Yeah. Menopause yeah. club. Menopause. But I like yeah. that I, I'm into the menopause because there's no more period. I like it. Yeah, me too. Did you like it? Yeah. I liked it. It's, That's the welcome <laughs> part about the menopause. <laughs> like, so oh, thing that God, 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 there's God, no okay, more It's like, I'm going to take them away from, from having no babies. No more cramps. Back. No more cramps. But then psychologically, you know that, oh, I'm getting yeah. old, you know, yeah, yeah. psychologically. It's sad. It's, yeah. it's like, a, like a phase part yeah, of your life yeah. that has gone and now you're in your new phase. Is, is there is anything exciting <laughs> about menopause that you're like, oh, okay, I'm go I've gone through it. Now this, now I can live my life a different way? Yeah. Have you felt that about um, menopause or kind of like, uh, not really? I, no, I'm still grieving. That's why. <laughs> 
it's so funny that you're saying grieving because yeah, it's so deep. Uh, it's it's deep, and, it, yeah. and you could tell. And it's funny because when I asked for people to be on the show, mm-hmm. I asked, "Does anyone want to talk about menopause?" <laughs> they don't want to talk about it. You you stepped up. Yeah, and I you stepped said up. It. I have, I, it takes a lot of courage, and yes. even like because I, do I have to disclose that this is my stage now <laughs> <laughs> to the world? Yes. Yeah, but I said I have to help other women. I have to do this. Yes, yeah. and I also right. convinced Lois to come with yeah. me. And I'm hesitant too. I said <laughs> I'm not a medical doctor. I don't know anything about it. Only my experiences that oh, I could share. Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, yes. It's, I'm sure it has helped other women too. Just le- hearing um, the, your experiences of. Going through menopause, the hot flashes, the yes. uh, the mood swings. Te- yeah, the mood swings. Ah. Mm-hmm. Technically, mm-hmm. ano daw eh, yung isang araw lang daw talaga ang matawag na menopause. How? Oh, right. really? Isang just araw, one, day? one just one day. The period where you start heavy heavy bleeding, clotting, and then uh, it's twelve. Kung twelve months hindi ka nagmenstruate. That's it. That's, that's it. it. Uh-huh. Nagmenopause ka. For yeah. example, uh, September. Na, uh, 20, 20, 22. Uh-huh. And then September 20, 20, 23. Mm-hmm. Hindi ka na, wala ka nang yeah, men's period. straight okay. talaga. Uh-huh. So, September 21, yun la ang menopause day mo na tawag. After oh, that, yes. you are post-menopausal. Wow. And then the period before your menopause day, it's called perimenopausal. Perimenopause. Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. So, is post-menopausal a difficult stage? No, it is the same. You will experience oh. the same as perimenopausal. Uh, symptom, you the same have symptoms. Hot flushes, yeah. mood swings, dryness, and stuff like that. I really knew, like, oh my God, I'm menopausal because I was sweaty during winter. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's so weird. Yeah. And so, well, that's life. Yeah, yeah it's part of it. Embrace it. That's true. <laughs> there has to be something good about this face in our lives, right? Yeah. There is. I really yeah, like no it. Yeah, more, no more, no more, no more pads. pads. No more pads. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, no more pads. Yeah, it's I'm just sure. interesting because, like, uh, I'm taking birth control now, mm-hmm. um, and it do- it's the one that uh, doesn't allow, doesn't have period. So I don't have my period now. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. how will I know if I'm still on my pe- my birth control when I go into menopause if I already don't have period? If you have to stop taking your. You have to go period. to your abigaini and they will. Uh, you have a blood test that the follicle stimulating hormone mm. that that mm. could test whether you are on menopausal stage or not. Um, yeah, that that was actually my FSH, one of my questions is like, what is a diagnostic? You definitely have menopause. Yeah, FSH. Mm. FSH, FSH, yeah. FSH will do. Will do. Is a yeah. blood test. Yeah, blood test to identify. You, yeah, to identify. if you're in the range. And also the yeah. fact that you're young. You can't have menopause here. <laughs> Thank you. Right? Yeah. I mean, like, uh, I just had I mean, a baby. Anecdot- <laughs> anecdotally, you can't have menopause here. I right? still, yes. I still have I still have a few eggs in there. Yes. yes. <laughs> few eggs in yes, there. Yes, yes. I hope more than few, more than a few eggs, but yes. Yeah. That's okay. right. That's nice. Yeah, no, I I I really am hoping that this conversation doesn't just end here, that we mm-hmm. do continue to talk about menopause. Um, even though I'm not gonna go through it, I know I eventually will. And now I know that I will talk to my mom about it <laughs> so I could find out what her experience and is. if there is some kind of a discussion about about it, I think we should bring in the men also, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. they're we the ones to make fun men, of yeah. us, really. Yeah. 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 Not use it as, like so, a, yeah. Yeah. Right. as a way to make fun of us. <laughs> <laughs> it's a way to bring us down, right? I know. <laughs> no, my uh, one thing, and it's taboo to talk about, but it's like uh, what you were talking about before, like sex drive. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize that your libido would be affected um, because even after having a baby, your libido is affected, all the hormones. Um, did you guys ha- experience any libido change? Of libido? <laughs> or was I it think there is, I think there is a decline. You yeah. notice a decline. You sense yeah. uh-huh. it. Yeah. That's a, like a like a danger signal. Like there's a decline. What's going on with the relationship? You know that. Yeah, it's true, but it's just yeah. like your body is also you know has its own quirks. Yeah. And the men start asking, <laughs> yeah. "Why are you in menopause?" <laughs> but, you, but you know what? As I said, you have to take the vitamin, phytoestrogen, vitamin. Yeah. It will. You know, I didn't know that yeah. we go until I met it. you. <laughs> So we can still take that? Yes. Oh, okay. it's, it's quite I, mean, I, will, I will do it. Yeah, I'll do it. It's plant-based, so uh-huh. no danger. No yeah, risk. yeah, yeah. Even if we've been in menopause stage for a long yes, time? Yes, yes. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. How long have you been through menopause now, Christina? I don't, I don't remember. Like I a, think I had it in my 40s also. Also right? 40s. Um, they say, uh, when I was looking up the study, it's um, 46 is usually the onset. Oh, of, okay, of, yeah. 
Probably mid forties, yeah, forties, okay. mid fifties. Fifties. Yeah, I have the late onset. And that's what I imagine: forties, fifties. Yeah. So yeah. if you have an early um, menstruation, does that mean you have an early menopause too? I do think it does. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, okay. oh, oh I yeah, I didn't so. think of that. I had early menstruation, so I had early, early menopause. menopause. Right. What, what, what is what is early to you? Like nine? When did you have your menstruation? Um, I re- like almost like that. Wow. wow. That, is, uh, that is really young. I was like I think 12 years old. Yeah. Maybe. I was the same age. I had yeah, nine. I was 12. At 13. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then Me 12. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's 12, around yeah. the same yeah. age. Yeah. 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 Around 12. So you get embarrassed, you know, when you already have a period and you go to school and you... Yes. You bleed. No, initially you hide it. You hide it. And you tell one friend. Uh And then everybody says, oh, we also have it. And then then we (laughs) all school. We all trade tampons and pads. But we we unfortunately do have to start closing the episode already. Um, I I am so honored that we were able to talk about this this taboo of a topic. I learned Um, a lot. (laughs) And uh, so I'd like to ask uh, Attorney Angie and Dr. Luce, uh, what is your piece of advice for Filipinas who are going through menopause the first time? Or the you, uh, for all the Filipinas who are uh, watching this uh, Makilala TV uh, show, uh, it is very important to to be educated. If you, especially if you are have mood swings or you are depressed, and you have to consult your uh, primary provider or mental uh, consult a mental health professional or your obigaini. And then uh, try to eat healthy, especially the phytoestrogens that we have mentioned. Yes. Mm-hmm. That would help your uh, menopausal symptoms. Yes. And very quickly, um, yes, I think uh, you have to drink milk. Milk, <laughs> milk I like that. Very important. That's a good one. Yes, <laughs> to prevent so osteoporosis, and mm. then you have to eat cheese and proteins to help our body, and mm. try to uh, avoid caffeine. Drink green tea instead. Mm. or black tea, Mm -hmm. just like what uh, Miss uh, Attorney uh, Andy mentioned. We have to be open and uh, communicate Mm -hmm. our feelings and the changes that we have. Mm -hmm. Don't just leave it to yourself because it's very hard. Yeah, you need to have self-care, prepare for the coming uh, cycle. Yes. (laughs) No, thank you so much. And and thank you again, Attorney uh, Angie and Dr. Luce and the MNN team. Maraming salamat to all our supporters and viewers. Sa ulitin from Makilala TV.